there. I'm Sandy Alnock, and I am going to bring you another in my 40 days prayer and fasting series. And my church did this prayer and fasting together. This is the prayer guide, which I have linked in a PDF in the description if you want to read more about it or watch last week's video, which showed you how to turn a picture like this into a beautiful sky in your Bible. And today we're going to work on hands, which are hard to draw, but don't worry. There's also a sketch linked in the description so you can trace that in your Bible. I'm going to show you the Illustrator's note-taking Bible today, and I'm going to kind of try to cycle through all these Bibles that I bought just to see what they're like and show them to you. This one has elegant, elegant flowers in it. Holy cow, they're just so beautiful, and they have gorgeous designs of all sorts. This one's fish. They have some that are just patterns, and there's room on there to add your text in a lot of them. And some of them you'd kind of have to add some meandering through the design, etc. And then others of them have the text already in them. There's pictures of Jesus in there that you can color. All different kinds of really, really beautiful things. And a lot of them go really well with the scriptures that are with them, which is unlike some of the other Bibles that have pictures in them. But I've already traced my picture in here of the hands. And then I'm also going to color this other side that has text in it. And we will talk a little bit about how a Bible like this can help you get to be a better letterer as we get to the end of the video, and I'll show you that portion. So the sketch I've already traced in here, and the verse that we're using is, no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. And the vision that I got for this when I was praying, because each day during the prayer and fasting, I would pray in the morning through all the prayer prompts and read all the scriptures. And then in the evening, I would do my sketch. And all day, all I kept seeing was, our entire church body together in the sanctuary holding hands. It felt like such a unifying thing. And if you've never done something like this with a large body of people, it is a very unifying thing. And it felt like it tied us together in ways that I've never, never known before. I would run into people in the grocery store or see people at events. And like one lady went to an art class with me. And as we were going there, or as we were, as we met up with each other, we would talk about, did you read the prayer prompts for today? Well, you know, what, we, what were you thinking when you were praying that? And, oh, I know somebody in that ministry that we're praying for. And so then we'd have somebody specific to pray for. It was just really beautiful to tie us all together in that way. So that is where the idea of the hand holding came in. It was something that tied us together as a church body. And when you're choosing an image for something like this, just think about what is it that God is putting in front of you? Um, and and how is how is it best expressed? For me, it was these hands. And I did one hand in one, one set of colors and the other hand in a lighter set of colors so that we have a mix of ethnicities. Now, the original drawing that I did, I worked from kind of a couple of photos that I cobbled together to try to make the hands look right. And I put my sketch out in front of me. If you want to freeze frame on this, you can try to follow the shading. It's complex, but you could also color this much simpler. Just do one hand with one shade of browns and the other hand with the other shade of browns. And if you draw it with a black pen, like a micron pen, then it's more cartoonish that way and you can get away with lots simpler coloring. But I wanted to kind of go crazy with it because it's very relaxing for me. And as I'm doing the coloring, I'm also praying through the scriptures. So the longer it takes me, the more praying I get done. So that's always good. So here I'm coloring the shading for the other hand with the base color for the darker hand is the shading for the lighter hand, just so I get a couple different tones in there. And then I will move that out of the way so I can get my, my coloring finished here. Now, I, I talked a little bit about how you can come up with an image like this. I am working on a class that is going to be out, well, I hope soon. I have a lot of stuff to create for it. So hopefully sooner rather than later on visually interpreting the scriptures because I've had so many people ask so many questions about how I came up with this sketchbook full of ideas. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. I'll have more announcements as we get closer and have more information on it. And I will go back and add some links in the description on all my old videos of that class. So if you want to check that out, you're welcome to do that when the time comes. But know that I am working on it, so I plan to give you more help, as much help as I can give you, so you can do your Bible journaling better and document what God is telling you to do. 
Now with this one, I am using my Prismacolor pencils, nothing fancy here, just regular old Prismacolors. And these letters, the, um, the script love was just my handwriting, but these I traced from a, a printout that I made from my computer. So I started with that. And one of the things I noticed was that each one of these letters with this font had a vertical in it that was the same width. So I went through and did all the verticals at the same time. It kind of helps your hand to be able to make the lines, make them straight, sort of see that they're all kind of the same width, I guess, as you're looking across them, and then add all of the curls and the arms and the, the serifs and all that stuff to them. So if you have a font that has something in common like that, then do all of those parts that match first, and it'll help your lettering to kind of look a little bit more together, I guess. I was a graphic designer before I went full-time as an artist, so I know a lot about typography that's just sort of ingrained in me. I don't I don't explain it all that well, but I hopefully someday I can learn lettering enough that I can do a lettering class for you, because I know that's another struggle for a lot of people. So I did some two-tone lettering there while I was babbling. But on this other one, I'm going to do some lettering over top of their lettering. And this is going to be really fast because I want to just zip through this and get you onto your, your church day today. And I changed the he to she, which was kind of a nice thing to be able to do since this Bible had he in it. And I can make this about me. So I remember that it, this applies to me. It just doesn't apply to any generic person. It applies to me personally. I like to change things to my name if I can so that I know that God's speaking to me. And I'm going over the letters. Now, a Bible like this is going to help you learn a little bit about letter forms because you're going over them. It doesn't have outlines you're filling in, so you're basically creating them. And you can kind of get an idea of how that shape is made and start to train your hand to do it because a lot of people are like, I have terrible handwriting. Well, like on, on this word right here that I'm working on, I am terrible at this kind of fancy script with the thick thin. But when you do this over top of somebody else's lettering who knows how to do it, you can sort of get an idea. Oh, it looks like the fat part is on that part of the letter. But, you know, it, it's just something that will help you as you go if you can follow what somebody else is doing at some point. So this kind of a Bible that has this really light lines can be a real educational tool for you as you're trying to learn to be a better artist in, in creating your art. But as I always say, it's not about the art that we create. It's about the relationship with God that we're documenting. So make sure you're reading your scriptures, not using any of these just as a coloring book, but you're actually engaging with God in this process. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and I will see you again next week with another video. God bless you.